Hi everyone, this is Terry Aldridge from terryscraftroom.com and I'm here today to show you how to make this pinwheel card. Let's get started. So the first thing you need is a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by four, four and a quarter. And then you need a card base that is four inches by ten and a half inches and this is scored at five and a quarter inches. We're going to set that aside for now. <clears throat> then you need two pieces of cardstock that are two and three quarter inches square and then two pieces of cardstock that are two and five eighths inches square. You need four pieces that are one and a half inches or one and a quarter inches square squared and then four more pieces of a coordinating that are also one and a quarter inches squared. So let's put these to the side here and let's start with our biggest pieces of card of square cardstock here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use our grid sheet here And we're going to just line this square up so that it is just even in our center here. And then I'm going to take this square and put some adhesive on it. And line it up with these four dark, darker pieces. And that'll make sure, give us our pinwheel shape. Now we need to take our two, five, two and five eighths inch square pieces. And we're going to layer these right over these, uh, these other two pieces that we just layered in. And there's only a sixteenth of an inch um, overhang on on these so there's not much of a mat here but just enough to show that under layer just like that there we go now the next step is to put our pinwheel together so what we're going to do and I'm going to use a liquid adhesive just because that's one of my favorite adhesives. So the first square you're going to put down in a corner, but when you put it down you're only going to put adhesive on one edge like that. Because we're going to have to access this under part here once we get all our squares down. So then we're going to go, keep going around. Now if you have a directional paper you need to make sure decide which direction you're going to go and I'll show you with this one this one I have my stripes and I decided that I wanted to have the stripes going sideways all the way around so you notice that I have this no matter which way you turn it the stripes are going sideways across the point So that's that's something to think about as you're putting your your squares down. So we're just going to keep putting squares down all the way around. And this paper that I'm using this blue foil paper is from the Noble Peacock collection and it does have somewhat of a directional a direction to it so I'm making sure as I go around that my flowers are going this way and instead of sideways so I am making sure that they're all consistent. Ok, 
okay and then now we're on our last piece here and what we want to do is we want to put our adhesive on then we're going to pick up this piece here and tuck this piece under just like that see that how that did worked and then I'm going to pick this piece up and just put some adhesive on it and tuck it down and there you have your pinwheel pretty awesome so to cover up this center or to make this center a little bit more decorative I'm going to poke a hole in the center and then I'm going to put a brad right here in the center there we go just like that and now see how nice that looks against that background So I'm going to put a sentiment right down here, and this sentiment, this sentiment is, I often think about how amazing you are, it's from the Thanks for the Laughs stamp set, and this is in the 2020 Spring Mini Catalog. It will be retiring um, the 3rd of June, so if you want this set, you need to um, order it soon. down here on the bottom and then I'm gonna this part of it says today you get it in writing there we go and there's our stamping done okay let's put our pinwheel on And then we'll put our pinwheel onto our card base. And you could, if you wanted to, make this card base here the normal um, full five and a quarter by or five and a half by four and a quarter inch card base. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And so it opens like that instead. You could also pop this and put dimensionals behind your pinwheel and another thing you could do is you can make it so that the pinwheel turns and all you have to do with that is instead of putting the brad on just the pinwheel you put the brad through both the pinwheel to the back of the card base and then I just covered it up on this one with a, a whisper white circle. So here's several different renditions. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, please hit the like button below and subscribe to me. Hit the bell so that you get notifications of all my new videos. And have a wonderful day. Check out terryscraftroom.com if you get a chance. Thanks. Bye.